<laughs> oh, reluctant therapist, social worker here. I'm not sure if I should call myself the reluctant social worker or the reluctant therapist. I am both. Anywho, I thought I would show you all my two weeks of yard sailing. Uh, I know it looks like an absolute and utter mess. Um, but anyway, since I watch all these yard sale haul videos on YouTube, and they're mostly resellers, but to be perfectly honest, I go to yard sales to find stuff to use with my patients. And excuse me if it offends you that I use the word patients, but I do work in a health clinic and that is the appropriate term for that setting. I know some of you use the word consumers or clients for many used I used the word clients but now where I work the appropriate term is patients because I, I work in an organization where the mission is primary health care although I am in behavioral health so I want to show you some of the little treasures that I've gotten um, the first is, I'm going to start with this little beauty. I just think she's gorgeous. I'm, you know, that's the size of my hand. It gives you an idea of how big she is. The thing that's really cool about her, and this is going to be hard to do, is I do not have a way to stand this phone up, but this YouTube stuff is new to me, is that she... Believe it or not, I think has about nine little dolls inside of her. And I have found that kids love these. And when you buy them at a yard sale, look how far can we go down? Um, we're at four now they can be affordable they are hand painted and so when you buy them new they can be kind of pricey um, I have actually several of these at work already but this one will be the one with the most I find it, most little ones in it I find that this is very good for demonstrating to adults whoops the whole child within concept, or even uh, the different personas of transactional analysis, you know, the okay child and the not okay child and the critical parent and uh, the nurturing parent. Sorry if I'm not up on all my exact terms I've been away from academia for a while and in practice so that when you're in practice you tend not to be as exact okay so what do we got here we've got an eight and here's nine and believe it or not number nine whoa Number nine actually opens up too, but she's really hard to open up. Now, as to be said here, as small as this is, you, you wouldn't want to use this with a very small child who could swallow it, um, and you'd want to supervise any child using this. Um, but... The other possibility, oh, and there's Mishka checking it out, because, of course, the cats have to inspect everything that we bring into the house, because oh, we don't need to see your butt, Mishka, um, because that's part of their job, is to inspect new items. Curiosity did kill the cat. So, I love these little matrushkas. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, dolls, because um, 
you can do a lot of things with them. In terms of sand tray, I do worry about the sand wearing off the beautiful painting. But like with a lot of things you may use with kids, I guess the damages end up being part of the uh, historical patina, shall we say. Um, you do have to be careful you don't lose all these little pieces. Sometimes the kids will end up taking them apart and get frustrated and want to move on to another toy before putting them together. So you end up putting them back together quite a bit. Um, and in terms of sand tray, I do like them as an ethnic item, but also I love having things in the collection, particularly when I'm using sand tray with children, not so much with adults, that have little surprises. The kids really enjoy finding items on the shelf and using them and, and then discovering that they light up or they make a sound or they have a movable part or they're a container or they are... Um, Oh, and now we have the favorite killer of plastic bags, Ziggy, um, who not only inspects everything, but feels that everything is a toy. So, so yes, getting back to <laughs> before was, um, okay, we don't have to rip, I, I, uh, destruction of things. Hey, 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 hey. I know, you're just so adorable. These are my Siberian cats, which make great therapy cats because they're hypoallergenic and because they're so friendly and interactive. Um, they are actually from Siberia, Russia, and they are a somewhat rare breed in the United States. Um, despite having long fur, they are hypoallergenic, and I know I am all over the place. Speaking of Russia, we're back to the Matryoshka doll. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. So, anyway... As I was saying, oh, I feel so tangential. Only other therapists would understand that. Um, is my is my thinking loose? Am I rambling, Ziggy? You're slowly destroying that plastic bag. Yeah. <coughs> they love to have little things in the collection that they can discover. Um, there is one drawback to that, though. Um, it, it does really initiate a lot of play and creativity, but then they want to go through every item in the entire collection to find out if there's a surprise. And they're a little disappointed. Well, not every item is a surprise. So let me show you some other items I found for sand tray, and then we'll move on to the things we found for art therapy. This, and oftentimes you have things in the collection that really aren't toys, and I don't think this was meant to be a toy, is a little mini Hammond globe. Now I have other little globes or representations of the world, like a squeeze ball that looks like a globe in the collection. But what is cool about this one is, is how it moves. It moves like this and like this. And that is about as cool as you can get. It does seem to be up to date with most of the countries. I guess because I am a kid of the Cold War, I'm always looking at the stands. Tajikistan and Kazakhstan and all the stands. And we've got Sri Lanka there and Madagascar and so Russia instead of the USSR. Again, back to Russia. And look, Ziggy! Siberia, the land of your peoples. <laughs> Mishka's over there. Ziggy is uh, Zygmunt. Uh, there's a lot of Ziggies in my family, so he got named a Polish name. I don't know if that's Russian. Mishka, I think, means little bear for in Russian. Oh, you're just going to town on that bag. Okay, so this is an ornament, and I find that ornaments make really great sand tray miniatures. And people will notice their ornaments. You can take 
I always take the little strings off the top and you you can untwist these little loops but to be perfectly honest I usually leave the loops on because I don't want to hold there I particularly like this guy because you know he's got the crystals and he's got the little crystal ball I have a lot of dragons in the collection um, from a set uh, from Animal Planet um, toys um, but this guy he's you know he's he's got some real nice decorative items and I bought him with a lot of other stuff for a price that I haggled on uh, I also have a couple fairies here these will be my first fairies in the collection you know in your sand tray collection particularly now even with adults um, mythical figurines and creatures uh, are really popular so fairies I'm gonna see if I can remove this thing here uh, if not it might stay and people might end up I don't know using it to make a little conversation bubble or attaching something else to it this is a little um, yellow fairy this one sometimes I paint my miniatures um, to make them a little more appealing um, or to give them a little pop um, this one I don't know if I'll paint her or not I don't want her to be confused with an angel. She is not an angel. She's a fairy. See, fairies... <laughs> At least this is my theory. I believe the fairies have more butterfly wings, whereas angels have more bird wings. The philosophies of fairies. Um, I would say she's a fairy. But you know, when you put things in your sand tray collection, what happens is people will see them the way they see them. I've had people pick up things that I thought was clearly one thing, but in their mind, they have made it something else, or they perceive it as something else is probably more accurate. And we, of course, as therapists, do not correct them. We just go with it. So we've got our little fairies here is what we'll call them. Our little dragon, um, the globe. Our Matrushka doll. This, I certainly hope I'm not offending anybody if I have that wrong. This is a little bit of a controversial guy. And this comes with a story about the yard sale. I did not really like that woman at the yard sale. But anyway, uh, this guy is a dog. I don't know if he is a Doberman or a miniature pincher. But I don't particularly like when people take human bodies and put dog heads on them. But I know there are other people like that. But he's holding a Bible and he has a cross on his pocket. And I thought to myself, hmm, a minister who's a dog. Yes, that could offend some people. But we'll just put him in the collection and see what happens. Sometimes... The figurines that I think are going to be very popular and used a lot don't ever get touched and will probably work their way out of the collection. And other ones that I find kind of ugly and distasteful, but I put them in there for, oh, just to see what's going to happen, get used all the time and get to be favorites. As uh, Teresa, New Mexico says, I um, hope she doesn't mind me invoking her name. You gotta have ugly things in there too. And by God, I think this guy's kind of ugly. But I could be wrong. Maybe somebody will love him. The woman was kind of offended that I said, I told her what I was going to use him for. And I said, you know, this could go both ways, but that can be good. And she took a little offense that I thought this guy was a little strange. But I thought she was a little strange, so. Yeah, as a therapist, I'm not supposed to say those things, but here's a little surprise item, which I came from a lady's uh, estate sale who went into a nursing home, which is kind of sad, but her relatives were having the sale, and um, I bought a number of things from her sale, but she collected the eggs and egg cups, and this is another one of those surprise items. I don't have any kitschy Easter items in the collection, 
But whoops, there's the surprise. I do have a lot of bunnies in the collection though, which people ask me about, why do you have so many bunnies? Is it because I like bunnies? Um, but there's a little lop-eared bunny and um, he'll be an Easter item, not a religious Easter item, but a secular Easter item. Um, here's the trick, getting him to fit. There is a trick to here. It's hard for me to see it while I'm videoing. There we go. You just line that irregularness up there. There's our little surprise item. There's another surprise item in here. Again, there's pros and cons of having surprise items in your collection, but I find that when you work with kids, they just think they're the coolest thing ever. You do have to get past them wanting to explore every item to see if it's a surprise. This is a little pot of daisies, and it's in, again, you open it up, and there's some daisies in it. Not a huge, big electronic thing, but interesting nonetheless. That'll go on the nature shelf, probably. This one is an egg cup, but he's got kind of an emoticon face, and... <laughs> I don't know what scrambled maybe <laughs> it would be the phrase for his expression, but um, the fact that he has an emotional face and you can, I'm going to have to clean that, um, put sand in it or another object in it. Um, well, we could put our little surprise thing in there. Um, I'm sure the kids will use any, maybe even the adults, um, in a creative way in the sand tray. I have lots of horses, but I do not have a hobby horse. Um, this is just a plain one. Um, I She's the right size, because sometimes I get excited about stuff for the sand tray, and then they're way too big, and they just dominate on the shelf. But I like that, um, you know, she rocks. Um, there was a carousel horse, too, there, but I didn't like that one that much. Um, I don't know why. You like what you like and things stand out to you and not everything that you like is going to be what somebody else is going to like. This again is another ornament. Um, it's a fawn and a doe. Again, I'll take that little cord off there, but probably keep the loop on. And people will sometimes comment, oh, is that an ornament? And I'll say yes. But, um... That doesn't seem to bother them. Um, I like little animal figurines that are um, mothers and babies or fathers and babies. Um, they get used symbolically a lot. Um, as you can imagine. Um, moving around in here. I do currently have a few things that I bought for myself that are not for the office. This is for the spiritual self. It's just a little ceramic tape plate that says, God bless you. Um, actually, God Almighty paid a dollar for that. That probably was not worth more than a quarter. I'll tell you, some of the people with their prices, they just, they think their stuff is much more than they were. But this lady gave me a deal on a painting, um, not for the office, but for my house, that um, I liked. And it was an actual original um, acrylic painting. I'm assuming acrylic, not oil, but, um, and, um, th these little saying things go really good with, um, a Christians, um, because it says God bless you, it's fairly generic, not necessarily Christian, um, but spiritual, um, that are non-denominational Christians, so I like to have some, a few things like that on the tray, um, um, here's, I don't normally buy paint and things like that, but this was gold and in, in art group, my patients, and I think this is for stamping and I'm going to show you those too, but let's try to do, finish out the miniatures first. Um, okay, we got, <laughs> you're going to see how much I paid. Um, uh, 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 and again, I get a little crazy sometimes with the size, so this is going to look kind of big, but, um, if 
I paid $1.95. So here's a penguin and a baby penguin. I don't have any penguins in my birds yet. Uh, this is kind of a rubbery thing, which I like. It's, I don't know what brand it is. I haven't even checked, but um, you know, if at all, I can take the big penguin away if he's if he's taking up too much room and just use the little one. Let me see if I can figure out if this is a brand. Um, it says penguin made in China. <laughs> oh, and then there's three A's in the trademark. I don't know if it's a triple A or what it is, but um, <laughs> penguin. Um, what was funny about this sale was whoever did the pricing made everything neat uh neat penguins <laughs> um there was a um real kitschy figurine of a male native american which i'm sure had absolutely no cultural authenticity to it because it was probably made in china but um it, it was like it said neat indian guy on it um again kind of offensive but um i'm i'm hoping not to offend anybody's cultural sensibilities here but um that's what they wrote not what i wrote but anyway the neat penguin i got um and we got a clifford the dog i don't you know i have some trademark figurines in the collection uh clifford i particularly like because this is a book that a lot of people read as a child clifford's been around for a long time so adults can relate to him because they may have read his stories, but also they may have read them to their children, but they also relate to children because those books are still being read. Um, I'm digging to see if there's anything else that would be used in the... Oh, yes. Last but not least of oh no uh the sand tray and again here i go with the bigness um i have a lot of horses because i live in horse country in my collection and i also have a lot of kids who just like to play with horses and nothing else so sometimes i pull them from the collection and just put them in a tote and let them go to town with anything western um these guys oh they're even bigger than the penguin look um and if that gives you an idea of how big they are, that's my hand. So they might be too big for the sand tray collection. Maybe not, but I like them because they had action and it was like they were fighting. They're a little worn. I got them for a dollar each or two dollars each. I think they're briar. But what I like about them is they have drama. And, uh, you know, sometimes having pictures, uh, figurines that don't seem so static, but have a lot of drama to them are, are are really cool so i think i'm going to stop the video here um just on the sand tray items and i'll do, do another on the art therapy or arts and crafts items that i got because this is already 23 minutes long and who wants to watch a video more than 23 minutes as we all know most of us only have a 20 minute attention span so Please hit the like button and subscribe. This is The Reluctant Therapist. And um, we'll do another video about art supplies and from yard sales. Bye, y'all.